an RGP lens consists of this all parameters. This is a trial lens RGP. You can see here it is written base curve, other side is written power, and the last one is the diameter. So these three parameters are there mentioned in the trial box lens set of an RGP lens. So what is the thing? You have to remove this one and you, you can use this lens. So the lenses are very small in size okay and it is comparatively harder you can see this is an rgp lens and also you can find out the base curve written over there the watermark uh, the base curve is written over here and you can see it in the watermark okay so the base curve of the contact lens you have to select after you take the k reading okay in the keratometer reading you have whatever you are getting for the patient I have to take the average k normally fine so the millimeter reading you have to take and that according to that you have to select the base curve for the lens the diameter of the rgp lens you have to select by measuring the hvid that is the horizontal visible iris diameter okay from limbus to limbus vertical limbus to limbus you have should measure with a sharma strip or a scale and then you can select the diameter of the lens okay so suppose you have a trial set of lens of sub uh, selected diameters you are having so for normal patients you can use lenses for normal diameters like 9 9.00 mm or 9.20 mm 10 mm whatever it is required but for keratoconus patient especially you need to use a trial lens that has a uh, diameter is of smaller size okay so uh, for normal uh, for normal people what you do you take the k reading take the average k and accordingly you select the base curve fine now you after selecting the base curve you put the lens in the patient size and you see tell the patient give patient some time to get adjusted fine so when the patient is comfortable let the patient blink and all and then you see for the fluorescent fit fluorescent fit you observe in this slick lamp you need to use a fluorescent dye to evaluate the rgp lens fitting okay so normally uh, for practicing time we what we have we have a trial lens set of a uh, base curve range and diameter range and also this power okay so in the trial set we have a minus rgp also we have we should we can have a plus rgp also okay but for keratoconus lens fitting for keratoconus patient fitting you need to select a smaller diameter rgp why because this rgp lens will sit on the patient's cornea right so these rgp lens should sit on the cone uh, when it sits on the keratoconus cone we have to be very careful that it does not touches the cone otherwise it will rub the cone and it will aggravate the keratoconus okay so you have to be very very careful while fitting a keratoconus patient with an rg with the rgp contact lens why because it should not the fit should not be flat fit because it can touch the cone and erupt the cone surface so you have to be very careful about this contact lens fitting in keratoconus another thing i'll tell you how the keratoconus how the uh, like rgp lens sits uh, beneficial for the patient's cornea see this is a cornea suppose this is the lens okay so there is a gap between the two right there is a gap between the two that is called that is filled up with the tear film so this tear film actually corrects the astigmatism and the in keratoconus what is happening the cornea is very irregular so if the cornea is irregular when the lens sits over the cornea the distance between the lens and the cornea there is a tear frame is filled into that system into that area so that is called a tear lens system in fitting of particularly for rgp contact lens this tear lens system is very very important why why this tear lens system is very important because this tear lens system acts as a uh, convex lens or a concave lens and corrects the astigmatism.